Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Walshmit card to review today. So we're taking a look at a card that is 511, high medium work rates, left footed, four star skills with a four star weak foot. So he reaches all the base minimum requirements to being usable in this game. Uh, now with this card, guys, I actually ended up going with the finisher chemistry style on him because it's basically a new sniper for me, right? Nowadays uh, with this year's game. Uh, reason being for this is because of his lean body type, right? So because of his lean body type, I want to see if I can improve his dribbling as much as possible to make him as usable as possible in the game, playing in the striker position or potentially the cam position as well, because his base card stats for passing isn't actually that bad. But in-game player traits, he doesn't have the finesse shot trait or the outside foot shot trait. He's got 91 acceleration with 83 sprint speed, so very important that his acceleration is higher than the sprint speed. I'm not really too fussed about him not being able to be a super fast player to be able to get in behind and, you know, abuse that meta, uh, because most of the attacking play that I do is build up anyway, so it's not really a big deal, right? Uh, he's got 88 to 86, 89 at 79 volleys with 80 composure, so with the finisher chemistry style, we are essentially going to be making his shooting perfect right with 99 shot power 99 finishing 93 for attacking positioning at 89 volleys right so you know with a card like this if he gets into the right areas i want him to be able to score as many as possible right so we'll see what the vibes are with that uh passing on the card for base card stats is at 89 short passing 87 for curva 88 vision again really really good uh long passing is at 70 which uh, is only bad if you use them as a cam for certain passes, but you mostly use short passes anyway, so it's not necessarily a big deal. Uh, dribbling on the card at 90 agility, 86 bounce will definitely be very interesting to see because, you know, a lot of people are actually giving him the engine chemistry style, which could actually make a lot of sense depending on how he's going to perform with the finisher dribbling wise. Because the thing is, right, is that if you can't really improve the dribbling as much as possible or you feel like you need the extra pace because he's an aggressive attacker then giving him an engine could be super ideal but we'll see what the vibes are in game obviously right uh he's got 83 reactions which is kind of low in the game uh as well as the 83 ball control so we're gonna obviously experiment with that in game uh with the 80 composure uh for physical stats he has 74 for strength 90 for stamina and then 75 for jumping so it's a card that i mostly see being used in the camp position with the way that the meta works this year but Obviously, we're going to be trying him out in different positions as well. So what we are going to be doing is we are going to be trying him out in the 3-5-2. Again, I, this is the formation I use to try out uh, players because it forces attacking AI out of them in certain situations, right? So uh, we're going to go ahead and switch this guy off to here. Royce will play up top, and then we'll have Walshmit there. This will be press pressure... After procession loss, width like that, depth like this, long ball, width like this, players in the box like this. We'll even do it like this, actually, just because uh, the formation by default is long, so we'll put a little bit narrow as well. I'll put a lot out of five with this and six on seven. Uh, and then the instructions, we'll just tell these guys to chill, chill. And then the strikers and cams will be on balance. We have to actually put the cam on stay four because they move very weird when they're on balance, man. They go to the side positions, which is super, super not ideal. Uh, we'll put Synchrov in here. Switch him with David. And we should be good to go. So yeah, we'll try him in the striker position. We'll see how he plays. Okay, so we are working with a pretty meta-oriented team for the most part. Very original, very original. Okay, so his dribbling, guys, uh, is not that great to work with, right? So it could be a situation where you do have to give him the engine chemistry style to work with his height as much as possible because I do feel like it's the balance in the car that's, like, messing him up a little bit. I've had, like, three different occasions so far where his dribbling is a little bit weird. Oh, even that finesse shot comes off really weak. Wow. Okay. You see that initial touch that he does? That that just wastes time, man. You know? Aw, oh, man. I mean, the pass should definitely not work, but it's so crazy how the through balls on the edge of the 18 like that, or just inside it, just don't work that well, man.
Oh, he has crazy sway on his dribbling. My goodness. Oh my, that sway is insane. Man, we don't score that with Philippe Anderson. That's a little bit crazy. I kind of wanted him to shoot with his right foot right there, but just didn't really pop off. Yeah, so with the finisher chemistry style, guys, it feels like he needs the balance boost, right? Because you want to make his dribbling as good as possible. Um, his shooting, I got to keep testing it out in certain situations because it doesn't even feel like it could potentially be worth upgrading. We'll see. Nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. David Alaba. And here's Cunha. Waldschmidt. Invincible's looking dangerous. And it to the goal that puts them ahead. He just gave me that space right there. <laughs> he felt like I it felt like I wasn't gonna be able to score that, eh? <laughs> People do that a lot, eh? They just block the middle area because they think they're you're gonna make that extra pass. Hey man, you wanna give me that space? I'll take it. So this could be a situation with this card where you can't really fix his dribbling, but we're going to still try to. Um, I really feel like it's because of the reactions and ball control being the way that it is, uh, which is why a lot of people are giving him the Hunter chemistry style to utilize his pace as much as possible. Um, so with this card, we will try him out with an engine first to see if that boosts his dribbling in any sort of way to make him more usable in the game. And uh, we'll see what's up. All right, let's see your dribbling this time. Okay, he needs the engine boost. <laughs> he needs that balance plus 10, bro. Yeah, there you go. Okay, he needs a balance boost. See, his dribbling is way better. It's still not amazing by any means, right? But it makes the card more usable for sure. Oh, that should be a penalty, man. I got that last second touch in there too. Oh, good defensive play. We'll make an angled run. Oh no, I fouled him apparently. Nice. Yeah, I don't know about giving him a hunter, guys. If you give him a hunter, that dribbling is gonna be rough to work with because then you're just gonna work off of his runs pretty much. There you go, get those uh get those last second touches in right there. I'll be honest with you guys though, man. His attacking AI is not bad uh at all. He is actually making some angled runs and stuff, right? It's just that, you know, with this card, you could definitely feel that he is mostly a card you use for sentimental value because you know, with the chemistry styles that you have to give this card, you're always gonna feel like you're missing something right it's one of those types of cards but not only that but i don't know like just generally speaking in this game it's just one of those cards that you get you know because you want to have fun with because he's he's kind of tough to work with in a way because of that dribbling right it'd be, it'd be nice to like be able to boost his shooting and stuff right but good interception there we'll get the angled run here Call him back. Work the space up top here. Felipe Anderson. This is Alaba. And here's Joshua Kimi. See how he makes those angled runs? Oh, I try to get that near post angle there. Great challenge. He got nothing but ball. See some progress with the ball at his feet. There we go. Get him on his left foot. Nice little goal. We'll take it. The thing is, too, is because his attacking AI is decent and he actually does make those angled runs, you can give him a hunter, but, you know, once he gets possession of the ball, it's the dribbling that's going to be really rough with him, you know? There we go. We just worked the shot cancel angle right there. He scores on his left foot. Nicely done. 
Yeah, guys, so if you guys end up getting this card because of sentimental value, you know, if you're a Befica fan or you want to make a really cool Liga Noche team with some German links, then uh, he's cool to get with the engine chemistry style, but he's a little bit tough to work with uh, in regards to how the meta of this game works, but it's usable. It's an incredibly usable version of himself. You guys know the uh, the diplomatic way of, uh, you know. <laughs> you guys know how I review cards, man. Like, if a card is, you know, sentimental, is it already has, like, huge value. Like, Ruben Diaz is not a meta card, and... I still use him on my team, and he's still super enjoyable because of who he is, right? So, See, even after that fake shot, he kind of comes off of it a certain way, right? The 4-star, four 4-star four just makes him more usable because if he was like a 3-star, three 3-star, three it'd be really, really rough, you know? You see, he does actually make those uh, specific angled runs, so I would say that his attacking AI is okay. It's just that when he's running as well, you can kind of see his body type like influencing his run a little bit as well, right? Which is why, like I said, you could potentially... 4-star weak foot? <laughs> uh, you could potentially give him a Hunter chemistry style, guys, to boost the pace as much as possible to utilize that attacking AI more, but, you know... All right, guys, so final verdict on this card. So it's it's one of those weird cards, in my opinion. Now, obviously, because he's a Liga Noche player, you know, I was even thinking of getting him. And I'm going to tell you guys this right now, that I'm probably not. <laughs> and if I get Senesi for, like, some sort of future team, I think that'd make more sense uh, for the current situation that I'm in for the club. Because with this card, guys, you know, I gave him a finisher chemistry style. His base characteristic for dribbling uh, you have to work with it a little bit too much, I think, uh, which is weird because he does have the lean body type while being 5'11", but I guess it's a combination of, you know, with this card, the 83 ball control and the 83 reactions, even if you give him an engine chemistry style, you don't really touch those two things, which I feel like might influence the card a lot. Now, you could potentially give him a marksman chemistry style and work with his dribbling stats like that and give him the shooting boost as well while working with the pace. It's definitely 100% a thing that you can do because I feel like giving him that reaction and ball control boost with how he performs in game it would be more beneficial right uh you would also be giving him the shooting boost to work with his four star weak foot as well as his strong foot which would definitely be very very nice but you would also be giving him a physical boost now with this card he does actually have pretty decent attacking ai he does do the angled runs he's not necessarily stagnant which is great the, it works really well uh with his high medium work rates but you know even with me guys being a huge liga noge guy i i personally wouldn't do this card um he just didn't really do it for me um, especially with the meta of this game, like, at least with Andre Silva, for instance, even though he has a three-star weak foot, like, he's usable in certain cases, right, because the dribbling is not that bad, but that base characteristic with the Schmidt card, it's just very strange to work with, right, like, you can make him work in your team for sure, we scored some opportunities with him, but, um, yeah, he's a, he's a very strange one, I would, try, I would stray away from him personally, but, um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this review, I'll catch you guys for the next one, peace out dudes, love you guys.